Olivia is using the tower to drill a doorway into their world. You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower induction filters. Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, there's been a little bit of corruption in the early part of this video. So I'm going to play it, kind of this mission again. Uh, I'll, like, showing you in the picture picture what happened to the video, it was just completely unviewable. Um, so, it's not blind, I've already done this. Do I even get the we- okay, no, don't ignore that weapon I have. It just gives me all the, like, challenges and weapons. So just know at this point, I was attempting to interact with the rune trial stone which we don't know what that is yet, get the auto map of the entire facility, and kill, uh, death from above uh, two uh, glory kills on Hell Knights. Um, Untethered cross-dimensional activity is a frequent occurrence outside of the base, so it is recommended that workers buddy up when journeying onto the Martian surface. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's a long story. But my recording setup isn't ideal for this, and it was corrupted and while I was recording I had absolutely no idea. So... But it's okay. Because we can just keep going through it, it's fine. So we're, we're, we're kind of, like, I already know where everything is, so we'll kind of explore. In fact, the secrets are already kind of found for me, so I'm just gonna try and revisit the same place that I kind of was at before. And so I, I never found a place way up here. This actually took me a bit longer to do my first time, because I was like, oh, do I really have to jump down here? But, nah. You have to jump down here. We'll get that armor while we're at it. So not quite blind just for now. Just for now, guys. But, uh, we got some nice jumping and parkouring to do. So usually when there's those, uh, there's those green lights, it means you have to jump to it, so I'll just kind of go to it right now, actually. Uh, we're, we're definitely not going to make that jump, but we can make this one. It's a new game. Not not exactly very friendly with necessarily uh, all the recording setups. It's actually the loading screen which did it. I'm hearing some very pleasurable sounds, but I don't know where they are. I don't know, we'll just jump over here. Uh Alright, the rune stone is missing. <laughs> It doesn't let me, like, I can't, I can't reset my progress on that. What the fuck were we hearing? I don't know why they could hear me through the walls. Well, I guess I'll plug in what the runestone was, kind of, just briefly. And then, like, it'll be corrupted, but you'll get to see what it is. Oh, it's a rune, I guess this is the runestone. Uh, use a combat shotgun to eliminate 15 imps before the timer expires. Increase the range that you can absorb, uh, uh, uh dropped items. Alright. That seems pretty easy. I, I guess it assume I guess I have to actually kill them with the shotgun and not do the little denial thing, and it's gonna load another level, actually. Okay. T 10 seconds? 2 per kill. Four okay, no, we can do glory kills. Not so hard so far. I mean, it's just you constantly have to run around. It's like an arena mode kind of thing. Okay, that was pretty easy actually. We got vacuum, don't worry. I guess that was our, uh, <laughs> our rune stone. And now we just have to load back to the This is kind of awkward. I mean, why did we have to load an entire new level for, uh, uh, just that? Uh, runes tab is where you can view available runes and equip them. You can also view your progress towards upgrading any runes that you have acquired, as well as requirement for. Oh, I see. So I guess I can put whatever I want. Oh, here we go. It's an entire other tab. Get one chance to survive a death blow and recover health. Resets on death. Uh, firing your standard weapons will not cost ammo when you have 100 armor or more. 
A hundred armor more, yeah. Intimacy is best. Demons become more glory kill friendly due to a high damage resistance, resistance when staggered. Okay. Uh, oh, so it won't. It won't. I can't kill them as well. I, I can't kill them as effectively when they're uh, staggered. I guess so. Move fast for a short time when performing glory kill. Glory kill demons drop armor. Okay, that would. Uh, that's actually kind of nice. Available in Argent to facility. Wait, have I been missing this stuff? No, no, this is the first one I've seen, actually, so no. Because it said destroyed, so I assume I just did it. Provides significant increase in control in over in-air movement after a double jump. <laughs> well, there you go. Double jump's confirmed, guys. It performed glory kills faster. I launch into a glory kill from much farther away. Increases the effectiveness of equipment items. I increases value of ammo received from demons and items. And increases how long demons remain in st stagger state. All right. So we'll just uh, do that one then. Absorb 300. There's apparently an upgrade challenge. Wow, this just went full Call of Duty on me. I don't, I don't know. As I said, it's just like, it's... They don't matter, these things. Like, they, it's... It's, as I said, it's like a mix of Bonner Gaming and... and uh, uh, like... And old school. Like, it's fast-paced. How can I complain? Like, it's... I don't know. Oh, that was it for that. Uh, as I said, it was really easy. We just kill like a bunch of enemies with a shotgun, and then you get like uh, a little rune upgrade. And the rune upgrade is actually—I can show you that right now. Uh, we got vacuum from that one, so we get to absorb 300 dropped items. Oh, hey, look—it's a cyber demon. Yeah. Okay. If for anyone who doesn't get the joke, uh, in what I did, um. I, I did Doom 1 with some of my friends, Ken and Wikidoo, and uh, I kept calling the Hell Knights uh, Cyber Demons, and it was the most hilarious thing in the world to me. But I basically never knew the actual names of the Doom enemies. I've, I've, I, like, I did play Doom when I was like younger, but like it doesn't outrageously tell you what the... Uh, like, it doesn't outright tell you what the names of the enemies are, and uh, apparently this is where the party was at here. It doesn't tell you the names of the enemies, so I just kind of like... I'm like, hey, it's the big guy. And, uh... Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I just didn't, didn't know the names for anything. Hey, there's a little secret here. Oh, I, I know where that one is, actually. I actually found this secret. Um, I found the lever before I found the actual uh, secret itself, so it's right here. We got that one. It sucks having to backtrack, but I know what caused it now, so it shouldn't happen again. It's something to do with the loading screens. They do a lot of funky things with this game. Like, I lose a lot of my, uh... Like, whenever the game is running, I can't hear audio from from anything else. In, uh, like, when I'm in mice to desktop, it's weird. And yeah, we're, we're in this area, so... I wonder if I fall down here, will I, uh... Be able to come back up? No, nah, because I can't use it. That may not be the case. But yeah, we we recognize this, right guys? Oh, if I come back here with a blue door, will, I, will it open? Probably not, because it doesn't show up here. Oh well. I'm trying not to show you anything that we haven't seen yet, but... I'll have a look. It, it's not going to be perfect, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, fuck you. I'll just kind of headshot these. You can just circle straight these guys, actually, to be honest. We've actually seen up here technically, so it's fine. Did I say already that I kind of like the plasma rifle a little bit better now? Oh fuck, that thing. So we can try. We can actually try and crowd him like I was trying to do before. Pretty sure I didn't get it on this one, but I guess we'll see, won't we? Oh, 
go. I didn't I didn't actually do it that time, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened last time too, so don't worry about it. You didn't miss anything with that. Alright, we got that. Alright, so there's a little there's a little thing coming up that by the way, I um after the fact, uh I'll I'll show you. I'm gonna run after there's gonna be an upgrade drone here that runs away from me. And someone is telling me to go run after this fucker. Uh because you could do something funny with it. So I did, last time I just let him get away, but now we're gonna actually try and run for him. No, I didn't get it. All right. All right, we're just gonna leave that guy be because I, I can I can do it. What the guy was saying I should do. I don't know what he was saying. He said I should I should not leave it alone. I could potentially get to it. So, but whatever. We can get to it later. I know that much. Spoilers. Right on the wall. Oops, I missed. It, it's kind of uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing this guy right now, and so this is where I actually got the the Hell Knight challenge. So I'll be doing it here for you guys. It, it, like once I figured it out, it was kind of easier that I need to be kind of in a higher place. Just, yeah, there you go. Now they, now I did it. So if I actually had the challenge still, I would, I would be getting it now. This asshole, get down from there. Whatever, get out of there. Ow. Okay, that's not good. Let me get these guys. These guys are super fucking annoying. Alright, that may not have been it, but I just ripped out his jaw, so that's all good. This is how I got it through several means. There's a nice bit of crates up here to basically get it on, so... Pretty easy shit. Not too difficult. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we didn't go up there. Uh... I don't remember where we went. Alright, so I, I I'm pretty I'm pretty certain though. That we went this way maybe. Yeah, so, uh, it's it's hard to backtrack to where I potentially was. Yeah, I think we were over here. So I'll just kill these assholes. Alright, well. I think really much on this lift here. Like some little funky sparkles over there. We actually look at our auto map. Uh, it will say that there's a little doll up here, and, uh, well, it looks like it's kind of connected to there, but, you know, I say that now. I know where it is. But does Michael out of the future know where it is? The real answer. Grab that, and, uh, I guess we'll get some health, too, while we're at it. And, uh, we got for, first one of these Ar Ar Argent, uh, filter stations. We're only temporarily disabling the tower. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. Or, or just kick it off. Energy contamination detected. Destroying the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. Alright, well, we'll just, uh, we'll explore over here for a bit. And we got another room with, uh, Cranes and monsters. It's the monster crane room. The scope things make. You know, I'll say this: the scope doesn't make things necessarily very doom-like, but it's, it's whatever. However, you want to play. You know. All right. Was there any secrets here? Is the question. Oh, well, there's like a little. All right, that, that's a health station over here. And there really isn't one actually right here, so we can kind of parkour up here and chill out. You see, this early part of the game didn't actually have all that many secrets.
but we can head back out here. Let me just make sure I wasn't uh, anywhere else. Ah, oh, there's another one right there. Uh, no, we're not going this way yet. I don't actually know if I knock this one out yet, you but... Stop. The hell energy is unusable without the filters. You may get to watch that one again. What you are destroying is more valuable than you can possibly imagine. It is a perfect and unlimited energy resource. Oh, he's got a shield. It's not fair. Oh, shit. Fuck, he just sprayed me with the shotgun. Oh, well, I'm a casual. How far back do we go? Alright, we finished up this we, we went back to this one. Alright. I, I, you know, I haven't quite figured out those guys. I just know that they DPS and shit at you. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to shotgun them at close range, though. And that kind of lagged and blew up. Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem in the video. All right, well, well, we'll take we'll take care of this guy now. Uh, let's just uh, pick up the nice plasma rifle here. Hey, if we weren't capable of doing this before, yeah, it, as I said, you can't just jump and do it like I was doing it before on the other guy's last level. Uh, we're having a problem with this guy. Dude, oh, we got this guy. Good way of ha handling those guys. Takes a lot of ammo, though. Back here. There we go. We got him. All right. I'll go pick up this little nice shield here, and then uh... because that's really it for this place. I don't have that much more. We've already been in there. Well, or have we? Who really knows? But what we will do is we will go up here, and uh, this is a, like a nice little, well actually, a nice doll is like this, even coming at me. There's a certain point where you just say fuck it and throw a grenade. I keep forgetting I have those. Oh, one of these things. Ah, that guy just peaced out. Is, is this guy confused? Right, let's see if I can just melee these guys. Oh no, oh, he's just wreck, wrecking me, all right. You know, I staggered him, but there's an imp like right behind him. Hey, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, kind of interesting bug. Um, if I if I do not complete this encounter the first time, it actually respawns everything. Because twice in a row, I've now kind of ran away from the guy. That that comes up with a shield, and both and both times, uh, it basically resets the entire thing. So kind of interesting bug. Won't lie. So it just kind of forgets you were in here and just respawns the same enemies. So you have to do it from the uh, very start again. As I apologize, guys, but we're getting to the point where I can kind of uh, transition it back into my original footage because this is about as far as I got. Uh, I'm sorry if there, this is confusing for you guys because I just had to kind of replay through it all. Um, yeah. Not much else I have to say about that. All I know is I hope it won't happen anymore. 
Oh, actually, I would prefer this one. Yeah, he's a he's a done for. Um, now there was a oh this guy right okay so he doesn't have anything all right so at this very point in the game I'm like oh nice uh, I can get a rocket upgrade because uh, I was using the rocket launcher occasionally uh, and the reason why I was avoiding using it is because I upgraded it but actually to be honest uh, I, I guess that doesn't matter I just didn't have to use the upgrade um, so what I did get was I got the uh, I got the rocket launcher with the lock on burst because it it said launch three tar rockets at the target the other option here is to uh, explode them in midair. I basically said that's not as useful as just locking on and firing three rockets. That's the thing. That, that was the main thing. It was the, th it was the three rockets. It's a fire and forget, moving really fast kind of thing. Uh, so we we opted to get that. Um, I did at some point upgrade. Uh, I I did a uh, I did get heat blast on the uh, plasma rifle. And I think the other one is a stun burst, and so this is more of a AOE thing. So I thought that uh. Basically, the more you fire the plasma launcher, you can just right-click and fire the thing. So that's something I didn't have before. Um, I already upgraded the tactical scope and ignore this shotgun because I get that much later. Actually, I, I, I barely got to use it. So it just, I don't know, it just spawns me with this shit. So, you know, what am I going to do? So that's kind of, that's kind of how we stood at this point. Uh, we completed two of the challenges, one with the time, the rune and one with the, uh, we'll get, we'll get to see, trust me, we'll get to see uh, more of the rune stuff later in the episode, uh, because, well, later in the next episode, basically, because, um, there's two of them, and so I, there's another one on the level, so you'll, you'll get an idea pretty quickly of what it is. Just, it's just some arcadey shit, you know? And, uh, yeah. So... There's most likely some secret or something I maybe got earlier that you missed out on, and I you also missed on a on a great, wonderful, hilarious 420 joke here. But uh, I think that's pretty much all I got here. So we continue that way now. So I guess let me transition to the original footage. Thanks, thanks guys. Sorry, and uh, and I'll uh, keep going. Bye. I mean, come the fuck on. It was the obvious joke to go for. I live in Canada, I'm allowed to do that. Actually, no, no, we got one more upgrade for this guy. We did it, guys. We're a specialist. What does this even do? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, all I know is I had to get headshots for some reason. Uh, ammunition fired while zoomed uses experimental heavy damage rounds. Alright, so basically, we can just absolutely annihilate anything. Well, we can go down there, or we can just jump up here. Over here. Ah, uh, just... Oh, vacuum. Vacuum upgrade. Rune is upgrading with vacuum. There's so much progression shit in this, you know? And I think we're actually back here, aren't we? Yeah. Which means I actually probably didn't want to come back here. Actually, no. You know what? Let's... Let's finish off the map here, kind of have a look around. Oh, actually, I don't need to do that. Why am I even going to waste ammo on that? I need waste ammo. Waste intimidation on that? No. Okay, I keep saying that we're going to go like... Alright, I take everything I said back. This is not linear. This is not linear in the slightest. Demon breach detected. Which is actually really good. Because I'm like, oh, I just stumbled across a room with this kind of shit. I'm not even... Oh, guys, please. I haven't opened that thing yet. Fuck it, I'll just open it now. Oh shit. Uh. That's actually a nice upgrade. The hell's it? Oh, this is fucking rocket cat. No, fuck you. Feels good, man. Oh, oh. Apparently I must have missed some of my shotgun shots there. It is a highly accurate weapon.
I should probably see what some of these plasma upgrades do as well. I should have at least one upgrade with every weapon. Actually, no. Not even worth it. Fuck. Keep missing. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go buy an Xbox now. Actually, wait. I could have done haste this whole time. Okay, it's pretty fast. <laughs> Actually, when I go down the ladders, it's still the same speed. We Could have had that the whole time. Now I'm just gonna explore at extreme speeds. Alright. That was actually not a terribly great upgrade. I will not lie. Doom Marine. Uh, that's that's an artifact, apparently. Lightning speed. Alright, let's have a look. Let's uh, let's upgrade the rocket launcher, shall we? We get three. So lock on a demon is faster, or the time for another lock can be acquired is reduced. Alright, we're going to do this one. Uh, so I can lock on faster. I actually like that. I like that upgrade a lot. I mean... It's a burst of three, but it's better than like midair detonations. Like that was my choice. I, I'd rather fire three missiles at something, and it just follows them. I'm sure at some point that will be useful. All right, what do we have for upgrades? We still need to acquire the auto map for the facility. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is a jump pad. Never mind. I always think something something's a collectible. Holy shit, I feel like I have ADD playing this game, because I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, oh, fucking secret here. Something else over here, and I think we just found the auto map. Yeah, there we go. So the, the auto map actually happened to be in a secret. We got another weapon upgrade point. Alright, let's have a look now. I think we got literally nothing else that we really want. I don't, I, okay, I don't even use this pistol anymore. So, you know what? We're not even going to touch it anymore. Codex entry for this facility. All right. I think that's all the time we got for today, guys. Next time we'll complete this level. Take care, everyone. Bye. One, two, three.